Okay, here's Abby Joe in Aloha, Oregon with the red voltmeter with the uh, neutral on the water pipe. In the bathroom, I think today is uh, the 13th of December. It's raining outside. It's supposed to rain. Okay, now what I noticed is this flow here. I'm going to put this and show you flow. Flow. It was flowing before last time I looked at it. You know what? Um, I put it on the inside of the faucet. Yes, like, oops. Like that. Ah. And now we get different. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You know, there probably was flow last time, too. It was a question of grounding out the circuit, not with the problem in my coils. See, it is working. It's working! Look at that, boys and girls. If you do it at home, get your parents' permission. Now, those are the plasma capacitors. Cool, huh? Oopsie. Uh, plasma capacitor. Ooh. Plasma battery. Oh, working. Oh, look at that. Cool. Uh, but not enough to power that yet. It's still off. The power strip is turned on. And this uh, plasma contraption is plugged into the power strip, which is plugged into the LED lamp. And it's not enough power quite yet to turn it on, but I think it will be soon. And I just wanted to show you that it does work. This is a coil I made only by burning, no caustic. Um, I used up a whole, almost a whole can of uh, butane fuel. I think it's 72 grams or something like that. And um, it's lighter fluid. And so I burned it almost to a crisp, but it was basically just tarnished looking. And then I uh, put, threw it in the uh, pellet stove on an open flame until it got really black. And then I just dipped it in guns. I did not soak it in guns. But it's working. It's doing something. And obviously on the capacitor there's more flow. So it's been sitting here collecting. Oh, look at that, that's the battery. So I said if you persist, and there's two gonzes on top there now instead of one, I put two. Uh, I can stack them up and I've got the Giza Pyramid here. It's a replica of the Giza Pyramid. I think it's 52 degrees slope. The Phi Pyramid is 72 degrees slope, so they're taller. Um, and there is a coil, and I was doing this before I found out about Mr. Cash. Every time I watch him, I get motivated to come back here and make a video and show you that I am still working on it. This inside is a copper coil wrapped around a crystal, and that's what I was, that's what I was up to in my own discoveries before I discovered Mr. Cash and the plasma. And uh, just watched an interesting interview with George Nury, and I think the guy's name is Arnold. Larry Arnold, about self. Uh, immolation, spontaneous human combustion, and he talks about plasma balls and people combusting and sort of from cooking from the inside out. Thinks it has something to do with ley lines. I think it has a lot to do with plasma physics. He says as much. He says that it has to do with uh, quantum physics. So anyway, I wanted to show anyone who cares. There seem to be quite a few people that care. See, it went down to zero. I'm not fiddling around with it. One hand, my left hand, is holding this camera. I'm standing in a regular bathroom with the rain outside. And um, just touching that, see? And look at that capacitor go. Wow. And then I'm touching one coil. It's just a, a one single, well, it's a double coil. It's 65 turns. Inner and outer. Obviously doing something there. Um, and I've got it on the lowest setting. You know what we could do? Just for grins. 